What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of King Customs and I hopefully you guys are not getting tired of these episodes but I know I still enjoy making them for you all so hopefully they help someone out. But if you guys like these videos please make sure that you hit the like button on this channel to help boost it up into the YouTube algorithm. And if you are new to the channel please make sure you subscribe and consider subscribing if you have not already and if you're a returning subscriber guys thank you so much for being here now on this quick episode i'm going to show you guys how to fill your washer fluid the importance of filling your washer fluid and why not to put water into your washer fluids so let's get started right now we are going to talk about washer fluid and why it's important for you to always fill it up and make sure that you always have in your reservoir so right here is our windshield washer fluid it is located in the engine bay it's super easy for you to locate all you have to do is look for the reservoir bottle that simply says washer fluid on the top let me see if i can grab a light to show it to you guys easier it is super easy it's gonna be um it's gonna be big and bold in writing uh, and you'll see it simply say washer fluid. So here it is. It's going to say washer fluid only. So what you want to do is go to the store and buy something from Walmart like this. It's a super tech windshield washer fluid. And it is important to get. The reasons why it is important to get is because one, it helps clean your windshield. Whenever you're driving and your windshield gets dirty. I don't know how well you can see this, but this is a dirty windshield. Um, I don't know if you've even seen that mark that I left, but it's dirty. Okay, you don't want to be driving at night having the lights of the other passengers hit the dirt and the dirt starts dazzling your eyes and giving like little starburst effects and it, it messes with your eyes to drive at night. You always want to make sure your windshield is super clean. Um, that way you can have proper visibility. It's good for you to see. You can see everything clearly. And, you know, those are things that actually in CDL school... They make sure that you do, especially when you're pre-inspecting the truck. You have to make sure that the windshield's clean. You have to make sure your washer fluid's in there. You have to make sure you have all of that because it's a heavy vehicle that you're driving. Now, I know this is not a truck. It's a car. It's a van. It's something different. But all applications should apply the same way. So, always make sure that you have the reservoir filled up. Now, the why you don't want to put water in this? If you're in a warmer climate area that does not get cold at all, does, that does not peak below 30 or 30 and below or 40, it's fine. Put some water with some soap in it, clean it up. But these newer vehicles have sensors in the washer fluid bottle. When it's detecting water, soap, you can damage that sensor, you might get a washer fluid indicator light on. It's gonna get damaged, you're gonna have to replace that. Um, if you don't care, then whatever. But if you are in areas that get 30, 20, zero degrees, negative degrees, up north like New Jersey, New York, Pennsylvania, um, even places in Virginia and stuff like that, filling water in your washer fluid tank is bad. Reason being, when water freezes, it expands, you're gonna crack your reservoir and then you're gonna have to buy a reservoir again. That's why they sell washer fluid washer fluid is basically water mixed with a little bit of alcohol so it does not freeze if you want to make your own mixture fine go ahead and do that it's gonna work fine but basically the whole thing with washer fluid is it helps clean the bugs that are splattering on your windshield it helps clean all the dirt from the highways the roads dirt work whatever it is that's going on it's always going to allow you to be able to see perfectly fine now on my personal vehicles i always make sure my thing is filled with washer fluid not just washer fluid i make sure every single one of my reservoirs coolant brakes um windshield wash anything that needs a fluid i make sure that it's always proper filled and proper level so let me show you guys real quick how to fill it up it's super easy and anyone could do it so let's get into that so what we're gonna do is take our washer fluid here open that up remove our little protecting plastic tab throw that off to the side of the garbage pop open your washer fluid reservoir cap and just fill it up that takes skills to get it like that 
And there you go, it's to the proper fill mark. It's not too full and it's not too low. It's all the way up there. And that's good enough to get me onto a road trip. Guys, that is it. That's how simple it is to fill your washer fluid. I'm gonna put this back on my shelf. But it doesn't take much, guys. Make sure you do that to all your vehicles. You wanna be safe in the road. You wanna see everything that you are doing when you're driving. And on this channel, I also like to, you know, talk about safety. Even though sometimes what I do is not that safe, not wearing safety glasses and stuff like that, which you guys should definitely wear safety glasses whenever you're working on cars. Don't follow me. Um, but things like this where it's gonna help you see better in the road guys do it take the initiative you don't need to go to a shop ladies i know sometimes shops like to rip you off don't get ripped off um especially to the ladies i know there are guys out there who don't know much about cars either but especially to the ladies there are things that you can do yourself to be self-sufficient to help you all out this is going to help you guys out fill your washer fluid Keep watching my videos, ladies, gentlemen. I'm gonna show you guys how to, you know, fill up and check the level of your coolant. Fill and check the level of your, your brake fluid. Uh, little things like that. So these little maintenance things are gonna help you guys out to keep your vehicle lasting longer and to keep you guys safe on the road. So with that being said, guys, peace out. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to hit a like on this video so it can be boosted into the YouTube algorithm. And if you are new to my channel, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button. And if you have always been here, thanks so much for being here. With that being said, guys, peace out, and I'll see you all for the next one. Peace.